With PostSharp logging, you can add high-resolution logging to your existing code base within minutes and with almost no impact on your existing code base. Here is a sample c -sharp project that simulates the processing of requests from a queue. Let's add logging to this project. Whenever any method starts, succeeds, or fails, we want to write a detailed message. You can do that in just three steps. First, add a new GET package to your projects. Open the Package Manager. Find the package postsharp.patterns.diagnostics. Select all projects you want to log. Here we have just one project. It's easy. Click on Install. Done! The second step is to add logging to all methods in these projects. Create a configuration file named postsharp.config. If you store this file in the project directory, it only applies to this specific project. But if you store it in a parent directory, for instance to the root of your repository, it applies to all projects in all subdirectories. This XML code adds logging to all methods of your projects. The third and final step is to say where PostSharp has to write the log records. PostSharp supports the most popular logging frameworks, including Log4Net, Nlog, Serilog, the standard System.NET APIs, and many others. In this video, we just use the console. Go to the program file. Add a few namespaces. Go to the main method and initialize the logging services.default backend property to a new instance of console backend. We're done! Now run the app and sit back. The first time you build your project may be a little longer than usual. Awesome! As you can see, we have a very detailed log. Every single method call is there. The log even includes parameters and return values. This is very useful when you need to diagnose an issue, especially one that happens only in production. The problem now is that the log is too detailed. There is a lot of noise, for instance, property getters and setters. Let's fine tune what needs to be logged. Go back to postsharp.config. Add a second log element but this time by setting attribute exclude and attribute target members to make sure we're excluding property getters and setters. Here we're relying on naming conventions, but you can also include or exclude methods based on visibility and many other criteria. Run the app again. Much better! The log no longer includes property getters and setters. Now, what if you want to know the execution time of each method? And what if you want to get a warning when a method takes more than 200 milliseconds to execute? Go back to postsharp.config and add some XML to customize the default logging profile. The properties you need are include execution time and execution time threshold. And since you're here, you can look at other customization options, such as include parameter name. Run the program again. Great! Now you can see the execution time for each method, and a yellow warning for all methods that lasted more than 200 milliseconds. There's a last problem with this log. It includes passwords. This could cause a dangerous security leak, so let's fix that immediately. Open CRM Client and go to the constructor. Add the custom attribute, not logged, to the credentials parameter. Run the program a last time. Awesome! The password is no longer logged. Thank you for watching this short demo. In just a few minutes, you have added extensive logging to an existing application and customized it to your needs. Of course, this was just the beginning. There are many more options and features for you to discover.